I'm here meeting with uh, Coach Reyes, head football coach for Nicky Row Football. How do, how do you feel that you all can match up to other teams uh, losing so many seniors this year? Well, you know, that's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes you're a senior ball club and you're going to end up losing that, but you just got to uh, uh, wait for the next group to step up and, and be ready to perform. And, uh, you know, our, our guys know that, um, you know, what we have and, and what we can and, and uh, what are going to be our strengths. And uh, those are the things that we want to try to prioritize and emphasize. And uh, so, um, you know, I, I think we'll be right in the thick of things, you know, um, and that's where, we, that's where we believe in. And, uh, you know, we'll be, we'll be um, looking to be and competing for the district championship. And, uh, you know, so it's going to be a great year. Okay. And uh, what, what are some big names that we can expect to see out on the field this year that uh, may not have, uh, you know, been such uh, big players last year or had so much uh, playing time? Mm -hmm. Some big names. Well, um, I'll give you a few on offense and defense. Uh, we're looking for a lot of leadership and good things to happen from, uh, first of all, our quarterback, Justin Owens. Uh, you know, he's stepping into the starter's role this year, and so I think he's going to be somebody that's, uh, that's um, uh, going to gonna relish in, that, uh, in, our, in our system and uh, in his position. Uh, some other ones that we're looking for big things, there's a couple of running backs and receivers, which is Mike Sines and uh, Jay Alonso. And one of our linemen we're looking to uh, spearhead that group is, uh, is uh, Guillermo Guerrero. On the defensive side, you know, we're looking for good things from our, our two safeties, which is... Um, Christian Guerra and Zach Caples, and uh, a, a D lineman, uh, Brandon um, Brandon Enojosa and Osiel Villarreal. So those are the type of key key players that we're we're thinking that good things can happen for us and be our team leaders on the field. Okay, and as far as coaching staff, should we see anybody new, any uh, returning faces? Uh, football staff, we have the same that we're doing. You know, we got our our uh, offensive coordinator, Bobby, Coach Bobby Flores. And our defensive coordinator, uh, Coach Robert Bocanegra. So, uh, you know, they bring a lot of uh, experience, a lot of uh, wisdom to the game, and uh, a lot of enthusiasm for our kids. And uh, so, and the rest of the staff stay the same. So, I'm happy about that. So, uh, we're very consistent, and we all believe in one, in, uh, in, in, the, in the direction that we're going, and we all believe in one system. So, you know, I'm excited about that because you, you got to have great coaches to be able to be successful. And uh, as we were looking at it, um, you know, uh, some of the coaches, um, we could see that they, they're very into the game. Um, you know, is there, is, do you tell them, you know, you got to be out there, you got to be, uh, you know, really into it, or are they just, you know, naturally? Well, I think at this, at this level, when you start coaching, um, I, I, you know, I, I think it's enthusiasm is, is, is in you. We all do this because we love this. So, you know, if you're not showing enthusiasm for what you're doing, then uh, you might be in the wrong business. Uh, so this just comes naturally to any coach that's out there. Uh, you know, I know some people can hold their emotions in because, you know, of the, of the perception that they want to perceive out there. And, uh, you know, and others are, you know, those hoop and holler type of guys. And, and uh, but our guys, you know, they understand when to be excited and when to sometimes, you know, hold back a little bit, you know, based on the situation. But uh, we got a good bunch of guys, so I'm happy about that. Well, I think one thing that we always talk about um, in the old linemen is that uh, uh, you keep going to the whistle until you hear the whistle. And one of the things that we kind of uh, uh, stress to um, our players is uh, a simple motto that we kind of say uh, of do right and uh, – and, and that's doing the doing the right things on the field and off the field as well. If you want to get somewhere, uh, it takes some uh, a little price and it takes a little work. And um, and uh, so I, I mean, our younger kids, you know, they had that was something good that they could learn from them. That um, you know, uh, things aren't going to be given to you. You know, you have to earn them. With a little hard work and a great attitude, you know, good things can happen.